It's DSP's Top 5 DLCs of 2010. Number 4, Dead Rising 2 Case Zero. The game developers of Dead Rising 2 could have done what everyone else usually does when they create a sequel. Make a game demo and release it for free over the online services so people can try out the game. However, a lot of the times this could fall short of expectations, especially when it's a game that hasn't been around for quite a long time. In the case of Dead Rising 2, the original Dead Rising had come at launch of the Xbox 360. So we're looking at a significant amount of time, three to four years since the last iteration had been released. So the game developers did something a little different. They actually decided to release a DLC prequel completely separate from the actual game of Dead Rising 2. In this DLC, we're introduced to the new main character Chuck Green and his daughter Katie, who arrive on the outskirts of a, ta uh, a town on the outskirts of Las Vegas, and uh, you're reintroduced to the zombie uh, gameplay, figuring out how to combine weapons. Uh, you actually fight your first boss fight and uh, the exploration mechanic as well. Now. What's important to know is that because you had to spend money on this DLC, it had to have a payoff, and therefore what they decided to do was that anything you actually found during the DLC, including the combination cards that allowed you to make some of the coolest weapons in the game, could be carried over into the actual campaign of Dead Rising 2. And therefore, when I actually went and played Dead Rising 2, I ended up having some weapons right off the bat, which was pretty neat. So all in all, even though... The Dead Rising 2 uh, DLC K0 is a little bit difficult and does have a learning curve for those who possibly have never played this kind of game before or maybe weren't into the first Dead Rising. It's still an excellent way to introduce you into the franchise and in fact it was so well received that they've actually decided to do a second one in the last week of this year called Case West where Chuck Green will actually team up with Frank West, the main character from the first Dead Rising. Now I understand that that is also a DLC and possibly it had a chance to make it into this countdown so let's just give it an honorary spot here along with case zero if it does end up being pretty good i will definitely do a hateful truth review of it near the end of the year so that we can uh, evaluate that one as well but good job overall to these game developers they was the original way to reintroduce you into the series and i think they did a really solid job up next an episodic game receives its final chapter to critical praise and gamer acclaim